So for concepts of integration, for example, you're given a differential equation with you know, variable separable, meaning it's in this form, and then you can separate the variables. The x can go with the x's, and then the y can be separated. So what you do here is you integrate them. This is what we've been doing. The answer that we've been getting is what you call the general solution, wherein you have a constant. This c is what you call the constant of integration. And then, of course, if you are given some conditions, for example, initial or boundary conditions, you should be able to solve for that c. And then once you, you're able to solve for that c, you have what you call the particular solution. So let's try solving some. So first things first, can we rewrite this as a variable separable? Yes, because this one can be rewritten as dy is equal to x over 4 exponent. 1 plus x squared, this one could be 3 halves. And then this is dx. There's no problem with this. Okay. Now, which one's more difficult? You'd say the one at the denominator. So I can say that that u be equal to 1 plus x squared. You can see that the du would then be 2x dx with an n of negative 3 halves because it's underneath, right? Okay, what am I missing, guys? And what do I not need? So I'm missing the one half because I need a two here. So here maybe what we can do here is let's rewrite this even further because in order to solve this, you know that we have to integrate, right? So this one, the uh, integral, the answer would just be y. I don't need the four, right? This one could then be one plus x squared negative 3 halves, and then x dx. You said from the yellow that we need a 2. So if there is a 2, we need a 1 half outside. So integrating, this one would then be 1 8 times ano, u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, right? But then what is the u? The u is 1 plus x squared. What is the n? Negative 3 halves plus 1 over negative 3 halves plus 1. It should give you a negative 1 half, right? So eventually, negative 1 half and then this would then be tama ba ako, negative 1 fourth, 1 over square root of 1 plus x squared plus c. Am I correct in here? So this one is what you call, again, the general solution. But then you have to take note that given the general solution, negative 1 fourth, 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared plus c, you are given some conditions. What were the conditions given? In here, it says here that the value of y when x is 1 is equal to 0. Or sometimes function of 1 is equal to 0. Diba? Or sometimes um, when x is 1, sometimes it's written like those. So when I plug in those values, the y would be 0 equals negative. 1 fourth, 1 over the square root of 1 plus 1 plus c. So the, this one is negative 1 fourth. This is 1 over square root of 2 plus c. Or I can say that constant is basically 1 over 4 square root of 2. Can you follow? Or multiply by square root of 2 over... So it's going to be square root of 2 over 8. 
So if I ask you, what is the particular solution? The particular solution would then be negative 1 over 4. Let's extend this if you want. Root of 1 plus x squared plus square root of 2 over 8. So this one, guys, is what I call my particular solution. It's particular to the given condition. So if I ask you, what's the constant of integration here? This is the constant of integration. So yeah, let's try moving to the next. Ayan. Parang ang sakit sa ulo ng given. Pero let's just uh, make it easier. First, you're given y double prime 4x cubed minus 2x. Okay. So you're given point, it passes through point 0.12 and that the slope of the tangent line, if you can recall your calculus 1, the slope of the tangent line is equal to 2x. So it passes through 0.12 and it has a slope of 2x. Okay. So with those, let's solve for the y prime first. The y prime, let's integrate this. This is x to the 4 minus plus constant. But then look, we're not yet at y. We're still at y prime. So let's call the constant, constant number 1. You integrate again so that you get y. This one would then be x to the 5 over 5 using the basic power rule. x cubed over 3. Plus take note, guys, this is a constant. Constant, when you integrate that, that would contain an x. But since I'm integrating... I would have another constant. So how many constants are there to solve? There are two constants. That means that there are two given equations that we need to be using. So let's call these equations 1 and 2. So how many conditions are given to us, guys? Also, 2. Tama? You're also given two conditions. Ito guys, ang ibig sabihin nito, the slope daw of the tangent line is equal to 2x at the point 1, comma, 2. So, anong ibig sabihin daw nito? Okay. You have to take note that the slope of the tangent line is always equal to y prime of the curve. Right? So, asaan yung y prime? First equation or second equation? First, very good. So, ito ah, slope of the tangent line is always equal to y prime of the curve all the time. Okay. At which point? You're given the point 1, 2. Okay. Slope of the tangent line, e di equate natin silang dalawa. 2x is equal to any y prime. x to the 4 minus x squared plus c1. When does this happen? At point 1, 2. Ay, di plug in natin. May letter y ba? Wala. May letter x? Yes. So, 2 times 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 plus c1. Therefore, 2 C1 is equal to 2. May nasolve na tayong isang constant. Now, second condition. Ah, wag, wag, wag number 1. Gawin natin letter A. Para hindi kayo malito. Letter B naman. What can we do? Use point one two as a point. So use point 1, 2 as a point. But then now, let's use equation number 2. Using equation 2. So here in equation 2, y is x to the 5 over 5 
minus x to the 3 over 3 plus, do we already know what c1 is, guys? 2, diba? x plus c2. The 2 here is actually the 2 there. Now, sabi ko, use it as a point. E di, that means at point 1, 2. May letter Y ba tayo o wala sa equation, guys? Yes. So, ipa-plug in natin. Yung Y daw natin is 2. Yung X daw natin, all the X's become 1. 1 third, 2 plus C2. So, 2 and 2 cancel out. I'm 15. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So, um, 0 is negative 2 over 15 plus C2. C2, therefore, is 2 over 15. Therefore, my answer is the equation of the curve is x to the 5 over 5 minus x to the 3 over 3. Plus, the C1 that we were able to solve for is 2. The C2 that we were able to solve for is 2 over 15. So, that is the equation of your curve. So, let's try another one. At any point on a curve, oh, second derivative of the given. So, y double prime is 1 minus x squared. Okay. And an equation with tangent line to the curve, ayan, may given na tayo. Hindi siya slope of the tangent line. But the tangent line equation is given. The tangent line, y equals 2 minus x. Where does this happen? At point 1, 1. Find the equation of the curve. Okay. So when you have something like this, first, let's go back to the double prime. Let's solve for the y prime. This becomes x minus x cubed over 3 plus the first constant. And then since it's not yet y, we still need to solve. x squared over 2 minus x to the 4 over 12 plus constant 1 times x plus constant 2. So now you notice there are two equations. Hihinto na tayo pag y na lang siya. Let's label them as equations 1 and 2. Now, first question. Are we given... Let, let's look first at the y prime. Kasi sa y prime, guys, you only have one constant unknown. In, y, in the equation y, which is equation 2, there are two unknowns. Which is easier? Which one do you think is easier? Equation 1 or equation 2? Equation 1 because it only has one unknown, the C1. So, guys, whenever I talk about Y prime, what do you think of when you say Y prime? You should always think of slopes. Very good. Pagka slope, dapat, at saka tangent line, ay, alam ko may Y prime. Kapag ka Y double prime, ay, point of inflection. Eh, wala naman akong binigay na point of inflection na term. Okay. So, what you do here is condition A. Diba? Ang condition A natin, the slope of the tangent line should be equal to y prime of the curve. When does this happen? At point 1, 1. Okay, may slope ba yung tangent line ko? Paano ba kumuha ng slope ng tangent line, guys? Alam ko, ang tangent line equation ko is yung TL y equals 2 minus x. Anong slope nito, guys? Very good. Slope is negative 1. Therefore, ito yung pwede ko sabihin na this is the slope of the tangent line. Okay. So, looking back on top, the condition A, slope of the tangent line is y prime of the curve at 1, 1. E di gawin na natin siya 
slope of the tangent line is equal to y prime of the curve. Ang y prime of the curve, uh, ulit natin, mtl is equal to y prime of the curve. mtl, y prime of the curve is x minus x cubed over 3 plus c1. When does this happen again? At point one one. So, at point one one. 1 minus 1 third plus C1. What is C1? Negative 2 plus 1 third. So negative 2 is negative 6 thirds plus 1 third. That's negative 5 over 3. Isang condition pa lang nagagamit natin. So maybe we, what we can say here is using equation 2, ibabalik natin muna sa 2 para there will be less unknowns x squared over 2 minus x to the 4 over 12. Dito, lalagay na natin yung c1. The c1 that we were able to solve for is 5 thirds. So, 5 thirds x plus c2. So that, guys, isa na lang yung unknown natin, c2. Now, Apart from the slope of the tangent line or the tangent line equation, are we given any other thing that we can use? Okay. There's a question. Paano ra ulit naging negative 1 yung slope? Guys, look at this. Y is equal to mx plus b. What's the m when you look at this? Diba the m is negative 1? Can you follow? Or sometimes if you want, Ano yung y prime? Di ba negative 1? So, ayun. Yung y prime is always the slope. You can solve it here. Okay. So, use the points. Yes. So, let's go to the green condition B. Use P11 as a point. So, when I use that as a point, Let's look at the one on top. 1 equals 1 half minus 1 over 12 minus 5 over 3 plus C2. Ay, pwede na natin isolve yung C2 kaya lang may pagkapangit. So let's multiply everything by 12. The left and right side multiplied by 12. This is 12. 6 minus 1 minus 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 5 is 20 plus 12C2. So, okay. 12C2. 12 minus 6 is 6, plus 1 is 7, plus 20 is 27, right? Therefore, C2 is 27 over 12, or if you divide everything by 3, this is 9 over 4. Am I correct? Therefore, the final answer would be, let's go back to equation 2. That's going to be in the form of x squared over 2 minus x to the 4 over 12 minus 5 thirds x plus 9 over 4.